Hi, in this video, we derive the mean and variance of binomial distribution. Let us see. First, we see the definition. The random variable capital X is said to follow the binomial distribution if it assumes only non-negative values. If it assumes only non-negative values and its probability mass function is given by probability of X is equals to X, it is equals to P of X, it is equals to NCX p power x q power n minus x for x is equals to 0 1 2 and so on small n where q is equals to 1 minus p 0 otherwise i repeat again a random variable capital x is said to follow the binomial distribution if it assumes only non negative values it does not takes any negative values it is only it assumes only non negative values and its PMF is given by probability of capital X is equals to small x. It is equals to P of X. It is equals to NCX, P power X, Q power N minus X, where X varies from 0 to N and Q is equals to 1 minus P, 0 otherwise. The two independent constants N and P in the distribution are known as parameters. They are known as parameters. Now we derive the mean and variance of the binomial distribution. To derive the mean and variance, let us derive some moments. The first one, derive mu1 dash. What is mu1 dash? By definition, it is nothing but expectation of x. Mu1 dash is nothing but expectation of the random variable capital X. It is given by summation x is equals to 0 to n, x, ncx, p power x, q power n minus x. By the definition of expectation of a discrete random variable, we can write like this. Probable summation x is equals to 0 to n, x into ncx into p power x, q power n minus x. In the next step, this ncx, ncx can be written as n factorial divided by n minus x factorial into x factorial and p power x can be written as p power x minus 1 into p. So again, we simplify the factorial notations n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 factorial and x factorial can be written as x into x minus 1 factorial. Now you observe that here x and x get cancelled. Here the constant p and here the constant n we write outside the summation because summation runs over x. Summation runs over the variable x. So P and N can be right outside the summation like this, can be right outside the summation. Now we have summation X is equals to one to N, N minus one factorial by X minus N minus X factorial into X minus one factorial into P power X minus one into Q power N minus X. So this term is nothing but this one. This term is nothing but N minus one factorial divided by n minus x factorial into x minus 1 factorial is nothing but n minus 1 c x minus 1. n minus 1 c x minus 1. It is not, that is obtained by the binomial coefficients n c r. So into p power x minus 1 q power n minus x. So total this term summation x is equals to 1 to n. Ah, you have to observe one fact. Here summation varies from x is equals to 0 to n. But here summation varies from x is equals to 1 to n. How it is possible? Yes. If you replace x is equals to 0 here, if you replace x is equals to 0 here, you get minus 1 factorial, which is not valid, which is not valid. So summation runs over from 1 to n. So again, this summation x is equals to 1 to n, n minus 1 cx minus 1, p power x minus 1, q power n minus x is nothing but binomial theorem p plus q whole power n minus 1. p plus q whole power n minus 1. We know that p plus q is equals to 1. So 1 into np, finally you get 10. Mu 1 dash is equals to np. Mu 1 dash is equals to n. Therefore, the mean is equals to mu 1 dash is equals to expectation of x. It is equals to np. The mean is equals to mu1 dash is equals to expectation of x is equals to np. So the mean of the binomial distribution is derived by using this equation. Let it be equation number one. So mean of the binomial distribution np. Mean of the binomial distribution np. To derive the variance, we need mu2 dash. To derive the variance of the 
the binomial distribution, we must need mu2 dash. Let us go for that. What is mu2 dash? Mu2 dash is equals to expectation of x square. The moment mu2 dash is given by expectation of x square. What is expectation of x square? Summation x is equals to 0 to n x square into p of x. Expectation of x square is equals to summation x is equals to 0 to n x square into p of x. What is p of x here? Here p of x is nothing but the binomial. Here p of x is nothing but the probability mass function of binomial distribution. Okay, put it as it is. This x square can be modified. How it is modified? Now you observe that for this x square, we subtract x and again we add x. There is no mistake. We are subtracting and adding the same variable. From the first two terms, by making x common, you get x minus 1 plus x. x minus 1 plus x. That is the step. So x square can be written like this. x into x minus 1 plus x into p of x. Now split the summation. Now split the summation. Summation x is equals to 0 to n x into x minus 1 into p of x plus summation x is equals to 0 to n x into p of x. This is nothing but expectation of x into x minus 1 and this is nothing but expectation of x. Already we know that this expectation of x, we get this is np. This is np. So now calculate this first term. Expectation of x into x minus 1. Expectation of x into x minus 1. That is nothing but summation x is equals to 0 to n x into x minus 1 into p of x. So again, we substitute this p of x. What is p of x? Probability mass function of binomial distribution. What is p of x? Probability mass function of binomial distribution. That is given by the formula ncx p power x q power n minus x. ncx p power x q power n minus x. Yes, let us simplify completely. That is equals to summation x is equals to 0 to n x into x minus 1. What is ncx formula? ncx is nothing but n factorial by n minus x factorial into x factorial p power x into q power n minus x. Let us rearrange. This n factorial can be written as n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial. And in the denominator, this x factorial can be written as x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 factorial. And we write n minus x as it is. And also, this p power x can be written as a p square into p power x minus 2. p square into p power x minus 2. Now, you observe that in the numerator, n into n minus 1 into p square, they does not influenced by summation. Because summation runs over x. Summation runs over x. So, n into n minus 1 and p square does not influenced by the summation. So, we write outside the summation. p square n minus 1 n. And also, x into x minus 1, x into x minus 1 get cancelled. x into x minus 1, x into x minus 1, they get cancelled. So, we get this simply n minus 2 factorial divided by n minus x factorial into n minus 2 factorial. Now, you observe that. The rounding of term this term can be written as n minus 2 cx minus 2. n minus 2 cx minus 2 by using binomial coefficients properties. So, and also here summation valid from 0 to n, but here summation valid from 2 to n because of this thing x minus 2 factorial. So, again this summation nc2 x minus 2 p power x minus 2 q power n minus x can be written as q plus p or p plus q whole power n minus 2. P plus Q whole power N minus 2. We know that P plus Q is nothing but 1. So you get simply 1. Finally, we get P square into N into N minus 1. Now using equation 3 and equation 1, in equation 1 we get. This is mu2 dash. Mu2 dash is equals to N into N minus 1 into P square into NP. Let it be equation number 4. Now what is variance? The variance is given by the moment mu2. Variance is given by mu2. And mu2 is equals to mu2 dash minus mu1 dash whole square. The variance of the binomial distribution is denoted by moment mu2. Moment mu2, central moment mu2. And it is defined by mu2 dash minus mu1 dash whole square. Already we find mu2 dash n into n minus 1 into p square plus np minus mu1 dash n square p square. 
and simplify n square p square minus n p square plus n p minus n square p square. The first and last terms are same terms with opposite signs. The first and last terms are same terms with opposite signs. So you get n p minus n p square by making n p common. You get one minus p. And what is q or what is p plus q? P plus q is equals to one. So one minus p is equals to q. So n p q mu two is equals to n p. Therefore, the variance v of x is equals to n p q. Hence, we conclude that. Hence, we conclude that the mean and variance of the binomial distribution are mean is equals to mu one dash is equals to n p. Variance is equals to v of x is equals to n p. Further, we discuss one more relation here. Variance is equals to n p q. We know that always that q lies between zero and one. We know that that q parameter q lies between zero and one. So multiply with n p, multiply this inequality with n p. So zero into anything zero, zero less than n p q less than n p. What is n p q? Variance. And what is n p mean? So zero less than variance less than mean. It means for binomial distribution, for the binomial distribution, variance is less than mean. That is the relation between mean and variance of binomial distribution. Variance is always less than mean. That's it. And this is very very important question. Derive the mean and variance of the binomial distribution. This is one of the important question for your entrance examination. Keep learning. Wish you all the best.